community worldwide. My name is Oliver Poschmann. I am a German bass player. I live in London. I work in London at the, in West End primarily but also doing freelance stuff and trying to keep and survive like everyone out there. <clears throat> uh, I didn't have a YouTube channel until now so please forgive me if this is way away from being perfect. I just for uh, what shall I start with? What shall I do? So I thought something which might be interesting for the whole community and in particular to those who like music and bass guitars uh, is one question. A lot of people over the years have always asked, um, wondering what's so significant about the music sound and where does it come from? Is it just the electronics? Is it the bass itself? Or is it the pickup? Or is it, what is the combination between of those? And obviously I wanted to shed a bit of light on that and um, <clears throat> there's a bit of a history behind that and well, this is about an early 80s model uh, which I bought second hand in the early 80s so I guess it's pre unevolved it's got a four bolt neck joint and um, got the old music man logo and so from nowadays standpoint you would say it's a vintage bass guitar now back then it was just a used bass guitar which I bought for quite a low budget in a local music store and um, a few years later in the 90s I met uh, Udo, Klem Udo Klem Giesing from a German company called Glockenklang which you may have heard of. Uh, they are very well known for doing high-end bass guitar gear, bass amplifiers, um, power amplifiers, preamps, uh, speakers cabinets and all that. Um, Udo started out in a very very low-key workplace which actually was a farm and his workplace was in a barn and it wasn't too unusual when he was working there and when I was visiting him uh, that the door swung open and sheep would walk in to the workplace and he had to push them out again to be able to keep on soldering on his high-end stuff all these brilliant made uh, preamps. So it's quite amusing and when I, on one of the occasions when I met him uh, to interview him on a couple of things, he suggested bring in your bass guitar and I will show you uh, something. I wanted to show you the quality differences between electric wiring. Um, so he said bring in a bass guitar and I will exchange the internal wiring. Uh, so I brought in this bass guitar. I know from nowadays standpoint of view everybody would say are you mad? You can't change the wiring inside a vintage bass. It just immediately devaluates it. But at the time it wasn't a vintage bass. So please forgive me for doing that. So we exchanged uh, the internal wiring with a Teflon cable, quite expensive one, and that had a significant change in the sound. I wouldn't say it was better, but it definitely had more high end than the one I had before, sort of in AB comparison. But he did another thing, and that's the main reason why I'm doing this video for you guys now, is he installed a little switch. And this little switch, what it does, it's just basically is a bypass switch from the pickup directly to the jack. So when I push it this way, the wiring goes directly from the pickup to the jack uh, and it's bypassing the two band EQ and it's also bypassing the volume control. I can turn the volume control, nothing happens. And now when I switch it on, uh, active, the volume comes in and obviously the EQ as well. And I can uh, then switch between two different sounds. Which is quite amazing for a Stingray, it's very basic. This is with the extra electronics and this is without. And of, co of course when you change the internal EQ in the active mode, let's say I just roll off all the treble and then a little bit of the low end, you get a more vintage sort of sound. 
and switch to the passive mode. Or over travel up. Passive. Active. That's it, that's the whole secret behind pull, um, installing a little bit of a switch, bypassing the whole electronics, you get a good feeling for what the pickup actually sounds. And the pickup itself, without anything, any active element in there, sounds pretty good. Uh, there's nothing against the sound of that pickup. All of that, that kind of quality of a jazz bass almost. And then of course then you can go to the typical stingray sound. That's the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it might inspire you to do the same thing. Don't do it to a vintage one though. Um, do it to a new one. <laughs> maybe Music Man, hey guys out there, maybe you take up the idea and um, install it. I think it's quite um, a good add-on, to be honest. Have a good day. Bye.